Hey guys. Hey guys, thank you for coming to my channel, Healing to Express. We're going to go ahead and get a message for the Twin Flame journey for our Divine Feminine. Anything you need to know about me, guys, will definitely be in the bottom in the description box. Like and subscribe. Also share. Remember, these messages are general, all right? If you would like a personal reading, that information will also be at the bottom in the description box. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, give me clear messages for our Divine Feminines. What is in their heart space? We got wisdom, well, wisdom in reverse. Some of my cards are in reverse, though. Oh, my whole deck is in reverse, okay. So we got wisdom. Yeah. So Divine Feminine, you're gaining wisdom for about your journey that you are on, okay? Yeah. Divine Masculine, I just did their reading. They're trying to gain balance. So let's see. Wisdom. All right. So this is like the Hierophant card. All right. It says, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. This card illustrates that there is a spiritual teacher who, who's about to influence you or step into your life to impart his or her wisdom. Look around. Is, the, is there someone in your life who has the education, knowledge, and ability to integrate spirituality and its laws into the constraints of the physical world. This could be a compassionate person who offers guidance and inspiration and reminds you that you're so much more than a physical being. You're also a spiritual being with unlimited potential. You may have also drawn this card to confirm that it's time to reach out and find an organization or group of like-minded souls being part of a group where you can be yourself, share your thoughts, and get valuable feedback. And can infuse you and encourage you to be all that you can be. Kindred support helps you live life to your highest ideas. Finding the true inspiration and enlightenment that parts of your soul. Over time, the student offers often becomes the teacher. So don't be surprised when others seek out and find you. This card of wisdom is letting you know that you have so much to share, whether you realize it or not. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so that's what we're doing right now. We're sharing our wisdom about this journey. It has not been easy, okay? But you learn so much about yourself. That's the, the amazing part about it. So let's see where you're at, Divine Feminine. On your journey. What's the message here? Alright. We got relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my highest good. We got patience. I accept that everything happened in divine order. And then we have death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. Okay? At the bottom of the deck, we got adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Absolutely. Wow. So, yeah, as we just said, you know, it's, it's very important for us as divine feminines, okay, to keep our vibration high and to gather with people that is for our highest good. All right? No, it does not make us better than anybody, but, you know, we, we got work here to do. We are teachers, okay? We also have to have patience with our divine masculines, okay? <laughs> yeah, we have to accept everything in our life happens in divine order, divine timing as well. And what I'm getting from this death card is maybe someone had an ending. Maybe you was in a karmic cycle and you just completed that karmic cycle. 
But just know, I am learning that endings are merely new beginnings. So you're about to have a new beginning in your life, all right? Yeah, you had adversities, you had challenges, but that's the best way to learn. And that's also the best way to be a teacher. I think the best teachers are the ones that had the experience and overcame. How can you tell me, you know what I'm saying, what to do or how to do it if you never experienced it? That's just how I take things in. That's just me. Could be you too. <laughs> but let's see why relationship is here. I see death at the bottom of the deck. Somebody could be going through a transformation right now. All right. Why is relationships here? We got the queen of pentacles. We got the king of cups coming out. And we got the ten of pentacles. Okay. So it's possibly you could be... Your divine masculine could be um, a cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. You could possibly be an earth sign. Or your person could be an earth sign as well. A Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. But, um, yeah. Maybe in this relationship, okay? Y'all bring each other balance. Take it how it resonates. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles, okay? Creating wealth. Maybe y'all gonna create some wealth together. Yeah. Wow. So this relationship with this king of with this king of um, cups is for your highest good. Okay. Wow. Maybe you're gonna be a teacher to this person. Okay. Yeah. Or maybe y'all gonna teach each other. <laughs> but we have the devil coming out as well. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Okay, but this deals with, you know, somebody that's um that's toxic, that has addictions, okay? Yeah, they focus in on material things, they have a negative thinking. They're by the devil. Yeah, this person was a burden to you. Yeah. This person was a burden to you, Divine Feminine. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Maybe this was your karmic. Yeah, maybe they were selfish, okay? The Four of Pentacles. Maybe they felt like they needed to control the situation, okay? Yeah. Maybe they were blocking change, okay? Maybe they was greedy. They couldn't make a decision to a swords. Take it how it resonate. They possibly could have been a stalemate to you. Yeah. Why is patience here? We got the three of swords. You could be feeling lonely. Feeling hurt and disappointed. Yeah, the Hierophant. <laughs> but in this walk, it may seem lonely at times, but you learning. You're getting wisdom. You're getting knowledge. Yeah, to help you on this journey. So you can tell others how you overcame. Yeah. We got the seven of swords coming out. You can't do everything at one time, so maybe you um you're overworking yourself. Yeah, but spirit is gonna give you strength in this situation or however this message is resonating with you. Yeah. Maybe it's time to prioritize what's important in your life. We got the four cups in reverse, okay? So maybe you're you're experiencing some delusions right now while you're trying to be patient. <laughs> but it says, I accept everything that happens in divine order. 
Or maybe you was dealing someone dealing with someone that was manipulative, okay? Because this can also represent that. That was a liar, a cheater, someone that's very dishonest. Maybe you try to have patience with that person. Maybe in the past you offered them your cup and they rejected it. What else about this patience? Yeah. But your divine masculine is coming in. Listen to your intuition. When they come in, they're going to bring in this Ace of Pentacles. They're trying to manifest this. You're going to have a new beginning, okay? Prosperity, gain, stability, and abundance. That's what I'm saying. This person right here could have been a Capricorn. And this person was a burden to you. Maybe they even broke your heart, okay? Three of Swords. Maybe it was a third party in this situation. But you listen to your intuition, okay? And guess what? You about to have this new beginning. Wow. Yeah. You maybe you poured out they offering, okay? You said you no longer wanted to take it. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Or maybe, you know, passion. Or you maybe somebody's taking action and moving forward from a situation as well. However, it resonates with you. Why is death here? Yeah, we got the Three of Cups, okay? Maybe it was a third-party situation. That confirms that. All right. Yeah, maybe somebody was juggling, okay? You put an end into the situation. Somebody was trying to juggle you. You a divine feminine. We don't get juggled, okay? Yeah. You're about to receive justice in this situation. You're about to receive some communication, possibly from your divine masculine. Maybe they've been in battle and war as well, okay? Having some type of conflict going on, okay? A win-lose conflict. Trying to find a common ground so they can come to you and take this leap of faith and have this new beginning. Come rushing in, okay? The Knight of Wands. Yeah, they finna come in with a whole bunch of energy. They're moving away to common ground so they can get their healing. They have already went within, did some soul searching, and they know what they want. They got the wisdom now. Or vice versa, you know what you want. You got the wisdom. Yeah. We got the chariot here in reverse, okay? So maybe he's going to be feeling overwhelmed or she, or maybe you're feeling overwhelmed. Maybe you're moving away from a situation. Maybe you're the one going within, okay? Doing some soul searching. Maybe you're the one rushing in. <laughs> Take it how it resonates. Flip it, okay? Yeah. What else, spirit? For this death? Yeah, we got the sun. Some things was illuminate. You're about to experience this happiness. We got the page of wands. <clears throat> There's about to be some sudden big changes that take place in your life. Somebody's coming in, okay? A free spirit person, okay? With a lot of passion for life. Yeah. Possibly bringing in some good news. They could been, be a wounded warrior when they come in. Or maybe you a wounded warrior, okay? We got the nine of wands. Yeah. Yeah. Even in a face of adversity, you standing strong. Yeah. All right. Let's see what um. Let's see what you need to surrender, Divine Feminine. Surrender to play. Maybe you don't need to be so serious. Take a break from overthinking a goal. Do something fun. Play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation, okay? It's time to get out. Surrender to the fear of change, okay? The universe is reminding you that you are cared for always, whether you're afraid of a change in your job, your health, or a relationship, or if you fear aging or death. Repeat the affirmations, I have faith that all is well. So you have to know that all is well, Divine Feminine. And you got to surrender to non-action. Now is the time to be still and not act. 
Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. So if you are dealing with control issues, maybe you're trying to contact your divine masculine. Okay, take it how it resonates. Spirit is saying now it's time for you to fall back. It's time to fall back. Let them come to you. Let them call you. You understand? Yeah. And that is the message I have for you. I'm going to go ahead and get one of the powerful affirmations. And we're going to close out this reading. Divine Masculine had change. <laughs> and they was working on their balance. And we, we're we teachers, okay? We're gaining the wisdom. Yeah. The wisdoms of how to deal with them, okay? <laughs> All right. What message do we have for the divine feminine spirit? Powerful affirmation. All right. We got silver lining. I find the silver lining in all situations, circumstances, and events within my life. Okay? So it's time to set boundaries in your life, divine feminine. Yeah. No, but yeah, so it's time to set that silver lining. But this is the message I have for you. Like and subscribe, guys. <laughs>